Okay, I got one for you. The story goes all the way back to Turbinique and... Ivo? Yeah, Ivo. Tell the story about with the Turbinique racing Ivo's car <laughs> down in Florida. Now tell the truth now. Because there's a lot of people out there that think that you blew the doors off of Ivo's. They still say that. Well, right. So it's this is this is time. Listen, you get well, old now. Now's the time to tell the truth. Don't tell no fibs right now. You know, someday you're gonna be meeting your maker, and you want to make sure you tell this story right. So well, now's in, your opportunity. In the first place, Kai, I never started the story, and I never said, yes, that's what happened. Yeah, but you're lucky that somebody did start it. But I, <laughs> I never did, I was like, uh, uh, you know, the story used to go about the, the gays and the military. No, don't say that! Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we're going to get don't, 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 don't ask and don't tell. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> so that was the story. Well, don't, say, yeah. don't ask, don't tell. Right. So, Okay. <laughs> so, I love it. Okay, so let's, 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 let's do the story. I... So people would say, "Boy, you did so and so." I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that. But Gene Middlebrooks, the guy that came up with the turbine, you know, that he that was he was a smart guy because he worked with NASA over at uh, Cape Canaveral. He Canada. was. He but was he way ahead out. of his time. The problem is, he made too many products too soon. You know, and he had a lot of really great ideas. He truly did. Yeah, he had a lot of great ideas, but and I was his guinea pig. You know, there's a lot of stories well, about me and, and him. But anyway, uh, I'm at the, the Tampa Dragway, and Ivo showed up. Ivo had his uh, front end drafter there, and uh, we're there with the go kart. And Middlebrooks is there, and everybody from his crew was there. Well, something happened to the go-kart uh, on the first run, or we couldn't get it to run. So we say we can't run it. So I think Ivo was the one that suggested it. Uh -huh. Now, I don't, I, I, I'm pretty sure that Ivo was the one that started this. He said, well, set him out there, and when I built up a big plume of smoke with the tires, you know, back then the thing was, how far down a quarter mile could you smoke the tire? Oh yeah, big time. See, that was oh it. yeah, lock up clutches back then. So they set me out in front of Ivo, and Ivo got the big plume of smoke up. Middlebrooks is sitting over here with a camera, and he snaps the picture of me yes, out ahead of yeah, Ivo. Yeah, you're sitting there. Though. And I'm sitting there. Right. Not moving. No. Nothing. That picture went international. Oh, I remember when Everybody, I saw it. It went worldwide, and it still bugs Ivo that one time after that, after I got the the, the, the hydrogen peroxide cart, the yeah. one I got now, yeah. I was at Dallas, Dallas, uh, Texas, at yes. the Drake Strip there, mm -hmm. and Ivo was there. Yep. And Ivo said, you know, if I had a chance again, he said, I'd run you over. And I said, okay, you got a chance right now. I said, get out here. So he didn't know what I had with that with that hydrogen. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. But he turned me down. Yeah. Because he had heard that I'd already run uh, two two fifteen or two twenty already. <laughs> well, see, I was with uh, Billy Herndon uh, down at the uh, Gartless uh, deal for the Hall of Fame thing, and, and he was at my table, and so I was talking to him about the, he was the manager of that tracker, the owner of the tracker. He was the owner of the tracker, right? So I was talking because I was asking him about it. He says, yeah, boy, that is really Ivo's sore spot. Oh. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. So, so Ivo come walking by the table. And I said, hey, Tommy, tell us about how it felt to have uh, Captain Jack blow your doors off. And he just kind of turned red. He's looking at him. Heard it's going, oh. And I said, oh, no, back. Oh, no, we know the truth. We know the truth. But uh, you can see that it did get his attention. That was pretty cool, actually. He's a pretty cool guy. I, I like Ivo. Yeah, you, you mentioned uh, Billy Herndon, owner yeah, of Tampa yeah, Bay. Yeah, yeah. I used to get to run every time I'd go before I moved to Florida. But uh, Billy Herndon told me later on, after he, the track was already closed up, so he told me, he said, I got something to tell you. I said, what's that? He said, I never told you this before, and I always wanted to tell you, but I never did. He said, you hold the record 
for drawing the biggest crowd of spectators at the Tampa Dragway. Oh, I can believe that. And I said, really, why didn't you tell me when I was doing it? He said, simple, I'd have to pay you more money. Exactly, he ain't so, dummy. <laughs> so, so the moral of that story is, no matter how nice these promoters are, you still got to watch them. Because, you know, they want to get you as cheap as they can. Yep, okay, that's it. Awesome.